So this great concept of the Rig Veda, Ekam Sat Vipraha Bahuda Vadanti, the truth is one, the wise call it by many names, is the foundation of the interfaith movement. So I have all my life really been interested in ideas. Uh, and therefore these ideas have, uh, have given me a certain, uh, a certain uh, inspiration uh, that has continued now for the whole of my life. And for the last, uh, what is it, 25, 30 years, my focus has been Lord Shiva. I've become a Shiva Bhakta. So whenever I get the time, my devotion goes to, to, to Shiva. My philosophy goes to the Upanishads. Where else in the world could you find the epitome of spiritual convergence? An eclectic mix of ancient forms, modern architecture, ages old religion and a new consciousness. A place where one could meditate on Lord Shiva inside an exact miniature of the Great Pyramid of Egypt. On the peaceful shores of the Coromandel coast, 160 kilometers from Chennai, this place whose simple symmetries immediately soothe the soul, exists. The original Sri Karnishwar Nataraja temple was severely damaged by the 2004 tsunami. It is reported that the statue of Lord Nataraja was turned south by the impact of this disaster, bearing most of the brunt of nature's wrath that terrible day. Miraculously, Pudukuppam, where the temple is located, was spared most of the devastation of the rest of the region. Back in September 2006, an inspired Dr. Karen Singh, chairman of the Oroville Foundation, former Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir, and Union Minister of India, set about restoring the temple to glory through his Haritara Charitable Trust, Jammu. The new structure was built using compressed, stabilized earth bricks, developed in Oroville by French architect Satprem Mani. On the 2nd of October 2010, the restored Sri Karnishwar Nataraja temple celebrated its fifth anniversary. On invitation from the founder trustee, Dr. Karen Singh, dignitaries and guests from far and wide arrived in a steady flow to participate in the Maha Puja and to watch a special Veena recital. Other dignitaries present at the event comprised of local Panchayat leaders and councillors, including Oroville Foundation Secretary, Mr. Ramaswamy, IAS, As the guests gathered, mantras were chanted and prayers offered by the Sri Kaneshwar Nataraja Temple's Pujari, Mr. Mukherjee, other Pujaris, and the temple in charge, Angushmam Basu. As Dr. Karan Singh was unable to attend the event himself, Mr. Karan Singh's name and his two sons' names, Vikramaditya and Ajat Satru, were offered by Mr. Ramasamy, IAS, Secretary of the Oroville Foundation during the mantra recitals. As per tradition, 108 yagams, comprising varieties of grains and powders, other foods, herbs and flowers were prepared and neatly laid at the side of the majestic statue of Nandi, the bull, in preparation for the main Maha Puja.
As the sun set and darkness enveloped the gathering, candles and oil lamps were lit around the beautiful flower columns and the deities inside and around the temple. The ancient rituals continued and the holy fire was deftly prepared and lit. The delicate scents of incense and sandalwood filled the air. It was resplendent with lights as the people attending mingled and bhajans continually drifted into the cool night. The revered guest of the evening was to be His Honourable Excellency Sira Iqbal Singh, the Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry. His Honourable Excellency Sira Iqbal Singh arrived to a warm reception. He was greeted and blessed by the temple's pujari, Mr. Mukherjee. And Calipet councillor, Mrs. N. Sarojia Narayan. Accompanying His Honourable Excellency was the ADC. His Honourable Excellency was then invited to preside over the Mahapuja. He went on to present the offerings to Sri Kaneshwar Nataraja one by one as mantras were chanted. Each offering represents a different request of the gods. For example, long life, peace, prosperity, happiness and good health. Mr. Ramasamy, AIS, Secretary of the Oroville Foundation, explains the rituals to His Honourable Excellency. The bell signals the warding off of evil spirits as the puja nears conclusion and flowers and oil were poured onto the fire.
The final prayer was chanted and the deities were blessed one last time. His Honourable Excellency makes the final offering to the gods and is decorated with sandanam by the pujari. The entourage then proceeded into the temple, where statues of Lord Ganesh, Sivagami, and Lord Murugan sit at the foot of the splendid Pandaloham, or five metals figure, of Sri Karnishwar Nataraja, an incarnation of Lord Shiva. His Honourable Excellency circled the deities as per tradition and offered his prayers. After prayers, the group walked around the outside of the temple. while the rest of the congregation gathered to receive their own blessings. Prasad was offered to His Honourable Excellency and Mr. Ramasamy by the Pujari. With the formalities over, it was time to enjoy the marvellous Veena concert by Dr. L. Annapurna, an accomplished Carnatic musician, who played a selection of traditional music on the Veena, accompanied by Mr. G. D. Matu.
the duo performed soothing bhajans to an appreciative and relaxed crowd. Afterwards, His Honourable Excellency and Mr. Ramasamy IAS received blessings in turn and then proceeded to bless and thank the many participants of the ceremony. Oroville the Foundation Secretary, Purukapum Panchet Leader, Mr. Shekhar, Irumbai Panchet Leader, Mr. J. Jayakuma. Vadatarkanam, Councillor, Mr. G. Ayanarapan. <laughs> Finally, His Honourable Excellency delivered a moving speech in which he expressed his thanks and delight at being present on this special day at the respectful request of Dr. Karen Singh. I've come here to indulge the best wishes of Dr. Karan Singh. His Honourable Excellency said he was very pleased to be present in the holy precinct of Sri Kaneshwar Nataraja Temple for the inaugural celebrations of Mahapuja and the Veena recital. He said that the temple, symbolizing the cosmic presence, is known for its distinctiveness never witnessed earlier in Indian temple architecture. Built as a pyramidal structure, the temple houses Lord Nataraja, the Lord of Dance. As Dr. Karan Singh said, the purpose of the temple is primarily for dhyan, or meditation, and its location on the coast further implies the serenity and has an ideal ambience to concentrate. His Honourable Excellency goes further to clarify the temple's representation. He says that Lord Shiva, to the connoisseurs of art, is known as Nataraja, master of all dance forms. As the perfect yogi, he is credited with the source of all knowledge concerning the various yogas. His prowess and divinity is such that he is worshipped with great reverence. Lord Shiva, in the form of Nataraja, is considered as the primal deity of dance, around whom the entire cosmos revolves. It symbolizes the dynamism, or Chityana, which is inherent in all living forms, and through which life expresses itself in various forms. He adds that he was given to understand that the allegiance to Sri Aurobindo and to Lord Shiva was one of the inspirations for the temple. Sri Aurobindo had said that Mahashiva means a greater manifestation than that ordinarily worshipped as Shiva, the creative dance of a greater divine manifesting power. In his delivery, he ratifies the divine protection of the area, witnessed during the tsunami. 
He says that the spirituality and tranquility of this temple has an unknown soothing influence on the soul. The mere presence in this place destroys our ignorance and gives us liberation from the worldly possessions. He says that this first visit to Sri Kaneshwar Nataraja Temple is just the beginning for many more visits in the future. Very intellectual and she wrote near about 100 books. He went on to praise Professor Sudha Bhavan, who was in the audience, honouring her for her literary excellence, especially in Punjabi. His Honourable Excellency draws to a conclusion by adding his thanks to Dr. Karen Singhji for creating this unique ambience and providing an opportunity to experience the absolute power. He says that this first visit to Sri Kaneshwar Nataraja Temple is just the beginning for many more visits in the future. Finally, he recognizes Sri L. Danapal a Mrs. Vijaya Danapal, who, at the behest of Dr. Karan Singhji, have organized this spiritual evening in a splendid way. Dr. Karan Singhji, trustees, and especially Dhanpal. This is a very good couple, which I've seen. Both are doing very good. Vijaya and Dhanpal. It is, I think, uh, the blessing of uh, their father and mother. I'm thankful. Will it come? As the night came to a close, there was time for a brief photo shoot before His Honourable Excellency departed, leaving the other well wishers behind to partake in light refreshments. Kaneshwar Nataraja Temple is located south of Chennai, off the East Coast Road, in Pudukkuppam, Kiel Puttapet, Tindivanam Taluk, Tamil Nadu, near Puducherry.